Let's talk about custom fields. It's been something that lots of you have talked about for a long time. And so uh, we have implemented custom fields in tons of places, clients, projects in your pipeline. You'll manage each of these fields by going into workspace settings and then custom fields. Here you can see you can add fields to your clients, contacts, your pipeline, your projects, and also your tasks. Pretty much everywhere within Moxie where you have an overview tab, you can add in custom fields that you want to make sure information that you've collected for every single uh, one of these things. Um, for a few of these, you'll have this option to show on card. Uh, so this is in your pipeline. So here in my pipeline, I can see um, this is the information that I want to see. Um, every time I go to pipeline, I want to make sure I've got this information on each and every one of my pipeline stages. And it's up front. I want to see it uh, when I am looking just at a quick glance. Um, adding custom fields is easy. easy. Each of these um, looks very similar. So you'll click this plus button and you'll see that you'll get a row added here. You can add your own icon here. These are not the only icons that you have available to you. Let's say you want to have something to do with a cake. Um, you can search for uh, your desired icons here. And I think you'll be shocked at the things that come up. So um, Let's try our cake. Um, you'll enter the field name. You'll add your mapping key. That's going to help you when you are going to use tokens and if you're going to use um, anything else along those lines. This is the type of information. So if you want to do a checkbox or select boxes, if you want to specify that this is going to be a date, it must be a number or an email, um, you can read all of those different types. Um, and then this option box, if it's just a text, you won't see anything here. But if you do choose one of these select radio or check boxes, you'll be able to add in your options here. So um, you'll be creating that checkbox. And then when you're ready, you can just delete that. Uh, if, you know, for example, you're creating a how to video um, to edit each of these is easy to just by clicking on it, and then you can edit those as well. So um, this is in clients. And so I want you to take a special note here of uh, my mapping keys. So I've been careful not to put any spaces in there. Um, and I made sure uh, that I know those mapping keys. Um, here is where you want to be clear and not clever. We're going to come back to that because I want to show you how you can take your form and map some of the things from your form right into each of your clients. Here again, we've got your contacts uh, and we have a pipeline here. You've got show on card with projects. This will show up in each of the new projects that you create and same for tasks. Here in tasks, you can use, since you have that Kanban view or Kanban if you're fancy, uh, you can choose to show this on card. There is a limit. You can only show two. Otherwise, your cards get really gigantic and it's not really at a glance. You're just reading in a different spot. So. Um, that's each of your custom fields. Let's go quickly where uh, you can map these things to your client. So here within my form, let's say I want to collect specific information about this, uh, this client. This is an old version of the discovery form. So here I've got all of the information that I'm going to pull in. I'm actually going to show you this content form instead. I've got this mapped correctly for you. So um, I've created my form and you can see I've got my forms here and I've got my mapping key set up. So uh, some of these like first, last name, email, that's all going to be native in Moxie and you use this mapping name here. Um, but for something like if you are a writer and you have the name of the publication, my mapping key name is publication. That's not going to show up here in mapping because we don't track every single publication for every single Moxie user. However, if that's important to you, then you would create this text tag and you would put in this mapping key. Now that's going to be important. This matches my mapping key in my custom fields. That's the same for um, this content type. This I have all of my options here. Same for um, ideal start date. I've got my mapping key set up to start date. So I'm going to pull in all of this information. So now when I click share and someone fills out this form, all of their answers are going to get mapped to that specific uh, in my client pipeline. So 
here you'll see that I've got that information pulled in in my pipeline. So this client filled out this information. You can see I've got my publication here. I've got the length here. Um, and I also have their ideal start date as well. So, um, and then if I want to add this to a client, so if this didn't have a client, it would be here. Um, if I want to add it to a client, um, you would just click to, uh, add a client or create a new client there. So I'm just going to add it back to my original client name here. You'll be able to see now in my clients, I can head over here and I've got all of this information that they filled out. So I've got my publication name that I tracked. I've got their ideal start date. And even if I ask for some more information, I have that written out here as well. Plus, I have the contact now created as well. And you didn't have to do any of that. Moxie will pull all of that in from your forms. And that's how you can use one of so many ways that you can use your custom fields uh, seamlessly from your forms to your clients. And you can also use it to track exactly what you need to for your projects and tasks and your pipeline.